Hey guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about a very serious question I had to ask myself when I first started my career. Do I go to college or do I get my CCNA or my MCSA or my MCP or whatever you wanna get? <laughs> Now, I'm assuming you want to break into the IT field or you want to accelerate your career if you're already in the IT field, if you're on a help desk. You have to consider either one of those if you really want to jumpstart your career. Do you go through the process of getting your degree or do you go through the process of getting your CCNA? Really, what will get you the job faster and what will give you the most bang for your buck? So first of all, let's start with your goal. For me, when I was faced with this decision, my only goal was more money. And I would imagine that's pretty much everyone's goal, including yours. So how do you get this money? Well, you accelerate your career and you move up the ladder. You become more skilled and you get into a, a better role that offers that higher salary. Got it, so that's our goal here. So when comparing college and really IT certifications, there are three categories I'm gonna look at here. It's gonna be cost, time, and worth. So first, let's look at cost, college. I mean, do we really have to go into how much college costs? Yeah, we probably should. Obviously, it largely depends on what kind of college you attend. Are you gonna go the online route? Are you going to a, a brick and mortar college, a private college? you know, state-funded college, things like that. Um, have you already completed some college and you're just wanting to complete your bachelor's and you've already got your associates? A lot of variables in play here. I'm going to try and simplify it because obviously time and tuition can vary. So how much does college cost or university, a four-year degree? It can be anywhere from 6,000 a year uh, with an accelerated program like WGU, which is all online and you can do it at your own pace, or it can be upwards of nine to $40,000 a year with a standard brick and mortar college or uh, even the other online colleges like University of Phoenix and things like that. Now, how much is the CCNA? There are probably a little more variables when you consider the cost of a CCNA because you've got a ton of different study materials and then you have the cost of the test itself and people, people, people learn in different ways. I'm gonna focus on something that's near and dear to my heart and that's self-study. Um, those guys who you know come home after work and you hit the books, you watch the videos. We're gonna focus on the cost of that. But if you go to the classroom, you know, Cisco Network Academy, or you go to like a, a, a college course, you could probably equate the cost pretty easily to this as well. So we'll start with the with study materials. The options are numerous, um, but I'll just pick my favorite um, that I've used and I find success in. Um, first is CBT Nuggets. What does that cost? Well, it's not cheap. Um, it's about $1,000 for a year. You can even do six months or you can do um, month by month. Um, with month by month, it's like $84 a month. Uh, then you have your, um, your books, which I highly recommend getting a book just so you can follow along. Some people don't do well with books, that's fine. For me, I found it beneficial to do both the books and the videos. Um, the CCNA official cert guide library that gives you the big books for, the, for both tests about 60 bucks. And then your uh, your lab, your CCNA lab. Again, this can really vary. Um, I found lab kits online on Amazon for $400. That'll give you everything you need to study and complete your CCNA. And then the exam cost, which was recently increased, um, you'll now be on the hook for $330 for the exam. So if we, this is kind of the premium study material content and, and that's gonna end up being about $1,790, so $1,790 for your CCNA. That's including all your study material, that's including the exam. Again, there are a ton of factors. It may end up being cheaper than that because you can go a little cheap on the lab. Uh, you can go with GNS3, which I highly recommend. All you need is Cisco IOS, um, which does cost money, um, but you can find online. And like I said, you don't necessarily need to purchase the books. And with CBT Nuggets, you could just do six months of CBT Nuggets, or you could just do month by month and try to complete it within two to three months. You can do it that fast. Whatever the case, we're talking roughly $2,000 to complete your CCNA versus $12,000 to complete your, let's say a bachelor's degree in college, which obviously is really bare minimum. It, it's, it could be a lot more depending on who you are, where you're at, and what you're doing. But I think it's safe to say that the CCNA wins the cost bracket. All right, so we've covered cost. Now let's look at time. Time is huge. Time is money. I think time is the most valuable commodity in the world. So let's look at time. Let's look at college first. 
Um, let's assume again that you have a head start with uh, an accelerated program like WGU. You already have some college credit, or um, maybe you had some certifications that you could trade in for some uh, for some credit hours. So let's be generous and say two years to complete your bachelor's degree. Okay, that's pretty fast for most people. Um, if you're starting from scratch, if you're just out of high school, um, four years at a standard university. So two, let's just say two to four years. CCNA. Again, a lot more variables here. But I believe that anyone starting from zero, from scratch, no IT experience, they can complete their CCNA within six months. I know they can do that. Now that's starting from nothing. I know a lot of you watching this video, you already have some IT experience. So you could get this certification much, much faster than six months, two to three months, maybe even less if you've already done a lot of this stuff in your current job. So let's say best case, two to three months, um, starting from scratch, six months. And then again, let's be honest, sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes your work schedule's crazy. You've got a family, you've got a baby on the way like I do right now. Let's be generous and say it takes you a year to complete your CCNA because that can happen. And I've been there to where you just, you can't study, you're too busy. So that's our time bracket. You got college, which could take anywhere from two to four years. Uh, with the CCNA, you could get it as soon as two to three months, maybe six months, and maybe worst case, it takes you a year. Okay. Now I do want to throw this in there that, you know, getting your degree is one thing and it would take you, you know, two to four years. But if you're accelerated, and if you're watching this video, you're probably a hustler, like I said before, you could get more than your CCNA within a two to four year span. So keep that in mind when deciding between college and IT certifications. All right, so we'll jump right into worth. What is the value? What does it bring to the table for college and your certification? How will college benefit your life and your career, and how will your CCNA benefit your, your, your life and your career? So the value aspect we're looking at here is how fast will it jumpstart your career, get you into a job you want to be in, and get you to start making that money, that money you need right now? So our goal here, get an amazing networking job or, you know, a assist admin job or whatever you want to do. So let's look at college. Will a four-year degree get you a job that we're talking about here, a sys admin job, a networking job that brings the cash, that brings the money? Short answer, no. Long answer, it depends. Is it likely you'll even get an interview as a network admin or a sys admin with a four-year degree? Probably not. Why? Because a four-year degree shows that you have general knowledge of IT, assuming you went to college for an IT degree, but it doesn't necessarily show that you have the knowledge to complete the tasks that job requires. Universities have always had trouble designing their curriculums to match the, the needs of the workforce, uh, whereas certifications they're created by the vendors who make the equipment and they tend to release their updates much, much faster than a university can update their curriculum. So more than likely, you're gonna be up to date on the latest and greatest if you have a certification over a degree. Now, I do have to mention this as a side note, uh, universities like WGU and I know others, I think University of Phoenix is even doing this now too. They do offer certifications as part of their degrees and they even kind of, uh, put them in as the final exam for some courses, that obviously does add a bit more value to your degree, so do consider that, but we'll talk about that more at the end. Now, I do wanna throw this in. Four-year degrees are valuable, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying college is bad, don't do it. It is worth your time, but when talking about jumping into the IT field and making some serious money, it may not be the most efficient path. We're talking about what's the most efficient use of your time and your money right now. Because if you're like me, you didn't have time to waste. You had to jump into it immediately. And college degrees for many industries and many positions, it's required to have a degree. I totally understand that. And it's also different, uh, it depends on where you live. But honestly, from what I can tell and from my own experience, most jobs in the IT industry don't require a degree. At least in the admin perspective or the engineer perspective. Software engineering, I don't really know much about that space. I know most guys I've met have at least done or completed a, a degree in computer science. But as far as sysadmin and, 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 and network engineering, it, most don't even care. So what will a four-year college degree or a four-year university degree land you? Um, an entry-level help desk position. That's pretty much it. 
you're not going to be able to jump into a network admin or sysadmin job with just a four-year degree. Sorry, it's not going to happen. What will also land you a help desk position? A high school diploma. So keep that in mind too. You're getting your degree and you got a guy coming fresh out of high school. You guys could po probably both land that help desk position. Now you'll probably beat out the high school guy. But right now, I don't see a shortage, shortage of positions, so I think you're fine. Now, it begs the question, will a CCNA land you an amazing job as a network admin, or will an MCSA land you a job as a sysadmin? Um, short answer, maybe. Long answer, it depends. Can someone land a low-level networking job with just their CCNA? Yeah, I've seen it happen. It's totally possible. Is it difficult without experience? Yeah, yeah it is. I make a habit of looking at job boards or job postings daily. They come in my mail, my inbox. Um, I've got LinkedIn jobs and I get alerts every day and I like looking at what's out there. Uh, just kind of keeping in mind you know, that I, my skills are valuable and there are plenty of positions out there. Um, a few common statements I always see is CCNA preferred or CCMP preferred. And then when they talk about a degree, because most of these jobs they do talk about a degree and they want you to have a bachelor's degree. But what it will say is, a four-year degree or equivalent experience. Or they might say a two-year degree with equivalent experience. So what does this mean? It means that experience is king. And with your CCNA, it's even better. Nothing will guarantee you an interview more than having experience in the role you're applying for. I know it's a duh statement, but it's just true. So you may be thinking, oh, what the junk, Chuck? This was supposed to be about landing a job with just your CCNA or a four-year degree. How do I get experience without already having experience? So here's the big question. How do I get experience in an industry that requires experience to get experience? It's quite the conundrum, I understand. What worked for me, and my answer, is to start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. I'm talking about a help desk position, a junior help desk position, a help desk technician position. These jobs are easier to land, than, obviously they're easier to land than the sysadmin or network admin roles. My recommendation, find a small to medium sized company and get a position there. Why small to medium sized? Because they're big enough to have Cisco Enterprise equipment or Microsoft Enterprise equipment, but they're small enough to where there's not so much red tape that you could get your hands dirty with all kinds of stuff in the Cisco realm. Um, and, and start to move up. So when talking about worth, again, we said that worth and value for the four-year degree and the CCNA is how will it help you land a really great job? Well, now the question is, because I already explained, the experience is really the most important part. What will help you land a help desk technician job and help you rise through the ranks quickly? What will give you the confidence to start to move up? or prove to your, your higher ups or your admins that you are ready to start playing and dabbling in that area, therefore giving you experience. Because you can put that right on your resume. So will a four year degree help you get a help desk technician role? Yeah, it probably will. Will it help you rise through the ranks? Doubtful, to be honest. I mean, a four year degree, again, just proves that you completed college. It proves that you stuck with something and it proves that you have a general knowledge of whatever you studied. It does not prove that you have a deep, technical know-how of what you want to do. Now, will a CCNA help you land a help desk technician role? Yeah, I think it will, easily. Will a CCNA help you rise through the ranks? Yeah, absolutely, I think it will. And I can speak from experience, it helps me. Because I started out on a help desk, junior help desk actually, I was in the very, very bottom. And getting my CCNA was key in me moving up. So, let's bring it all in. Experience is the main thing in landing a really great job. And experience will be the main thing in landing your first networking or sysadmin job. So really the question is, what will help you get that first job as a help desk technician or a service desk technician, but also help you to quickly prove your worth and rise to the ranks? My answer, CCNA wins. That's the worth. I've seen so many help desk technicians who have four-year degrees and they don't go anywhere until they decide to step up and start studying for their CCNA or their MCSA or their VCP. They don't go anywhere. But once they start doing that, that's when the leadership takes notice. That's when their admins take notice and they start to get more responsibility, throw it on the resume before they know it. They are network admins. They are network engineers. 
So time to sum this up. Can you start an amazing IT career with a four-year degree? Yes, you can. Can you start an amazing IT career with a CCNA or an MCSA? Yes, you can. So let's look at our three areas we looked at. Cost, time, and worth. Which one costs less? Well, let's be honest. CCNA costs less. We're talking about $2,000 versus $12,000 to $40,000 per year. Which one can you get faster? CCNA can get a lot faster than a degree. A lot faster. And which one will hold the most value when you're trying to land a job or just move up in your current role? I think, again, it's going to be the CCNA. Now, I must reiterate, college is important. And I went through the, the motions as well. I went to WGU and I started working on my degree. And then I looked around and I realized that a lot of the people that were working at the same level as me on the help desk had four-year degrees and they weren't admins. And I looked at the admins above me and they were working on their certifications or already had them. And then I pretty much decided that I want to be like them. I want to start doing what they do because they're successful and I want to mimic their success. So I did that. And before I knew it, I became a junior network admin. And I started getting my hands dirty with Cisco stuff and switches and routers and, and the phone system. And before I knew it, I was the admin. And now I'm an engineer. I've done it. I've gone through this path. So I can say it from experience. It works. And I didn't have to get a degree. Now, again, college is important. Degrees are important. So if you're, if you're graduating from high school soon or you have and you're looking at what to do, College is an option, and it's very important, and it will uh, lay the foundation for a great career. But if you're looking to break into the IT field without putting yourself into a ton of debt and you want to start making money fast, I say go for certifications. That's your best bet. I did it. It was successful for me. I know plenty of others who have done the same thing, no degree, and they are also very successful. So my two cents, go for your certification. It will prove its worth and value. It will help you get into a better position. It will help you get more money. Times have changed, guys. It used to be that you always get a degree, always, no matter what. But the cost of a degree is now astronomical, and you end up being in debt for so long, it doesn't even matter. But you get a certification, especially in IT, you can start making some serious money more than anybody who has a four-year degree ever would. So I cannot emphasize more. Start studying for your certification. Pick up some study materials. If you're wondering where to start, I made a video called Seven CCNA CCMP Study Tips for the New Year. Um, you can watch it here. I'll, I'll put the link somewhere on the screen or in the, in the notes below. Um, that's a great place to start get some tips, get some study materials, and kind of figure out what you should do for a study schedule. Again, self-study, it's awesome. It takes discipline, it's not for everyone, so you may want to look at a classroom option, which again is oh, so much cheaper than college. Um, you can go to Cisco Network Academy, you can go uh, to your local community college They probably offer CCNA courses. Um, but I highly recommend this path. If you're, if you're looking at getting an IT anyway, and you definitely want to move up the ranks, go for your certifications. Well guys, thanks for watching Network Chuck. Please uh, like the video if you liked it and uh, comment below for any questions or what else you wanna see from me. Also, uh, go to my website, networkchuck.com. I post more blog posts there on, on what I'm doing throughout the week. I, I'm heavy in voice and heavy in networking, so I'm always posting different things, how to's, um, different tips and, and helpful hints for studying and things like that. So head on over, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe here to Network Chuck to get the latest videos from me. All right, anyways, uh, thanks again, guys, for watching Network Chuck. Really appreciate you uh, subscribing and, and watching my videos. And uh, stick around. I'll be making more stuff. Say hi, Chloe.